Hey YouTube and welcome to another EC2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna see how we can install an EC2 instance and run a web server on it. In this case NGX server, web server. So let's go in install our first uh, EC2 instance. As you guys can see we're here in the console we're gonna choose an instance. Choose the detail of the instance, what's gonna be the um, The subnet then the the network that we're gonna run it is it gonna sign a public IP or not and then we're gonna choose the volume size of the disk for this demo we're just gonna run a 10 GB the drive it give it a name of the instance now we're gonna choose our security group In this case we're gonna allow it we're gonna choose the default one which is going to be SSH for everybody and we're going to add uh, traffic from all this is just for the demo purpose so if you want to go deeper into security you could do so choose a key for it uh, we're going to create a new key for this uh, example this key will be used for us to connect to the instance once it's created and install the rest of the services like uh, the NGIX server engine server there you go save it on your local machine make sure you have it saved because if somebody can will take it will log in and uh, have access to your server so make sure those files the key files are very well secured in your access so there you go i pass i fast forward and i already have the ec2 up and running uh, just uh, logged into uh, let's log into it and we're gonna paste in the uh, the name of it and using the ec2 slash dash user user and now we're gonna load the key that we just generated a few minutes back and using that key we'll uh, log into the machine just press ok I'm using mobile XTERM as my terminal of choice. You guys can use any of uh, any of your choice, but this is I prefer it. It's much helpful. It uh, has a good view. All right, so right now we are logged in. As you guys can see, it's up and running. This is the machine we choose. Uh, we're gonna switch to the root user. Just zoom in a bit. We need switch to the root user and uh, do some changes to the machine so you guys can as a EC2 user can switch anytime as a root user right we're gonna create a group it's gonna be the dev group this is gonna be used for our server installation and uh, we're gonna change the password for the root user because initially the root doesn't have any password so we're gonna put a password and it says the password is so simple but anyway forget about it I'm gonna continue it in your case you guys should choose a very very powerful password or disable root access and uh, we're gonna change the configuration of the SSH server and uh, allow root to um, log in with password and without having to use a key so what you're gonna do you're gonna open SSH config file and look for the password or all right there you go and as you can see password authentication it was disabled and uh, let's uncomment that and comment the denial of password authentication save the file and exit now we're gonna start our SSH service slash etc init dot that d sshd restart. All right, so next we're gonna install the NGX server. As you guys can see, it was as simple as that. If that was too fast, here is it again. Go back and watch it again. It's uh, using the UM installer package, and uh, we're gonna enable the Oops, it's not HTTPD, sorry, that's Apache. What we want to do is uh, set up NGX to start at the reboot time. So what you're going to do, you're going to use the chconfig tool 
to enable it with these options on next we're going to install a bunch of packages that are required by um, by uh, nginx and for a web server to function such as php in all its kind <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna copy them and put them in my uh, video description if you guys want to use them instead of looking at the screen and copy it one by one and uh, this should not take long if you're on amazon their web connections is pretty fast so there you go it took about five seconds all right next we're gonna change the nginx configuration so you can see it's in etsy nginx nginx.conf and we're gonna start the serve the nginx server as you can see it stopped and to start it is just uh, use the start command and our web server is up and running now if you copy the IP address of the the machine and you go to a browser in this case it's gonna be the public IP that you need to copy you go to a browser and uh, just paste it in there you go this is our nginx server up and running and that's it pretty that's pretty much it guys continuing from here going into deeper details how you can uh, configure the server integrate it with uh, your application we're gonna see in future future tutorials if you want to make some changes to your to your initial page what you're gonna do you want to go to the um, you want to go to your configuration file and look for the location of this index so if you go here and just paste it okay it's not here it's actually yes there you go the root past the ngx html so if we leave the file and we go to that folder inside it there's a file called index there you go that's the index file so if you look at it that's the exact it has the content of whatever we saw there so if you want to change it let's say don't edit this file just copy it to a new location and create a new index file in uh, just for us not to go through the trouble of editing this file so what we're gonna do we're gonna move it to index HTML dot oh always create a backup before you change something and we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna put some dummy test in it some something like it this is some text and if you go back and refresh your browser that's it alright thank you for watching subscribe like or like Thank you.